uh, men both at uh, Bagram and at Guantanamo. Can you hear me? Yes. So, uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, the U.S. military is out there today to, trying to tell the world that everything is okay at Guantanamo. Um, that the world does not need to bother. It doesn't need to worry about what's happening in Guantanamo. That it's a normal state-of-the-art facility. So all of us have gathered here today, and in many cities the world over, to answer with a resounding no, to remind the President to remind Congress, to remind the military that Guantanamo is every bit as unacceptable today as it was a decade ago when it was open. And I want to share with you what my clients at Guantanamo said when they heard that we would assemble in Washington on this anniversary. They want to thank each and every one of you for standing here in solidarity with them and with their families. They also want you all to know that on this day, they too, at Guantanamo, are staging a peaceful protest of their own. That as we stand here today, every single cell block at Guantanamo is engaging in a peaceful sit-in with banners and signs. The prisoners are refusing to return to their cell blocks. They are refusing food as part of a three-day hunger strike. And they wanted to do this in solidarity with all of you here today and to send the message to the world, a clear message that to the men of Guantanamo, um, as for us here today, Guantanamo remains unacceptable. That's right. Now it's also, it's also very important for all of us to remember that Guantanamo is unfortunately no longer just a single detention site. Guantanamo has now become an idea, it has become an ideology that every single one of us must resist wherever we find it. We must remember every Guantanamo-like dimension of this never-ending war on terror. We cannot forget Guantanamo's less known and larger evil twin in Afghanistan, the U.S. military prison at Bagram Air Base, where hundreds of men, like my client Amin al-Bakri, have been held for nearly a decade without fair process. We cannot forget the Muslim-majority communications management units in federal prisons in the United States. We cannot forget the cruel special administrative measures, which are harsh conditions imposed mostly on Muslim pretrial detainees and convicts in federal terrorism trials across the United States. We must not forget the predatory prosecutions and investigations that the FBI and local agencies like the NYPD use to target Muslim communities across the United States. And we certainly should not forget the National Defense Authorization Act that President Obama signed into law on New Year's Eve that entrenches Guantanamo's legacy in the American way of life and that furthers the militarization of our justice system. So, we're all here to remind the powerful that we see what's happening across the board, that they aren't the only ones with a bird's eye view, and that we're not dupes. We know what they are doing. And we will not stand by silently as our government destroys people's lives in our names. And to remind them also that we will remember the promises that our elected representatives forgot. Thank you.